Hello, my name is Paul Tranny, and I'm really excited to show you a pro site, what they are and how to create one for yourself. Because as a Creative Cloud member, you get a pro site as part of your membership at no additional cost, which is awesome. Uh, let me go ahead and dive right in. So just go to Behance.net, and if you're not familiar with Behance, it's a great way to get feedback on your work and really get inspired. So you can see some, some great works right in here that I can comment on, and and again, you can upload your own projects and get feedback from the community, okay? And that's exactly what I've done. So I, I encourage you to just get started uh, on Behance if you haven't already and really start creating some projects. And it's as simple as uploading images, to be honest, that really define your project. And that's exactly what I've done. So if I jump into my profile, it's literally fill in the blank to create your various projects as you can see right here start to define your profile again fill in the blank everything about you including your work experience because ultimately you want to you know get get some work uh, out of out of the work that you do uh, you know e either way you have that capability even if you just want to show off your work it's great uh, but this is what I want to talk about the pro site okay so taking all this information going into pro site you can see that your profile, everything in here is synced uh, with a pro site. And this is kind of an unassuming statement because basically what's happening is it's taking all of your projects, your entire work experience, your profile, and making it into a website, a website that you can control visually, which is awesome. So I'm going to jump right in here, edit your pro site. And again, this is part of your, uh, as part of your uh, Creative Cloud membership. It does say select the projects from your Behance network portfolio, which I've done over here. I've added all my projects. You can see them right in here. It gives me a preview, but really this panel is going to control uh, the layout and all the details. So I can go in here into layouts and start like checking out uh, each one of these layouts that are built by default. A and there are also some great examples out there on Behance.net that show you some just wonderful sites. But this is only my starting point. In fact, if I wanted to use this two column, I can select use this layout. Selecting continue. All right, I have my project selected. I can get into the fun part, which is the design part. Okay, this is really I want to express uh, my uh, you know my personal style in this design. So taking something that's unassuming, jumping in here, maybe adding my own font if I want. In this case, not only picking from these fonts, you can actually add Typekit fonts, which is awesome. So I've added Museo Slab. It's just a font that gives it a little more character adding that to my site and literally it's it's just a matter of uh, selecting what you want to change and then changing it literally changing the text color changing uh, the link color as well yeah I'm not afraid to go with uh, pink adding pink even divider styles you have control over how your site looks uh, without having to worrying about the development uh, backend stuff. And as I roll over these things, you can see them highlight. So if I want to add a background, I can, again, taking my own personal style, maybe a nice image, adding that, and really making it custom to me, just like that. As I roll down, you can see website logo, navigation, description. Uh, as it highlights this description, I'm going to remove this generic statement you know, add something else, something like that, adding that just like that. could say anything I want. Uh, I can change the header image, uh, the, the cover images. You really have a lot of control. It automatically pulls in my Twitter feed, so I can always turn that on or off if I want, but I don't have to write anything or, or do anything with that. It adds it automatically, which is great. Uh, I can get more into the layout details, and again, as I come down, I can start to take a look at you know the column order column widths all that content is available to me uh, you know if I get in here to the website maybe I want uh, uh, less space below the logo well I can just scrub it as you'd expect and go with that okay so there's so much you can do including adding your own custom CSS but beyond the design you can start adding your own pages as well you can see in here I have an about me page that I've added could be anything you want, just literally add that page. 
All right, settings is the last section I'm going to go over, but this is really powerful because not only do you get your own uh, semi-custom custom URL, okay, so what you can also do is go beyond that and change the domain. So you might be viewing a site, uh, might be one of your favorite sites by a certain designer, could actually be a pro site, uh, site and you wouldn't know because you can customize the URL. Search engine optimization analytics, uh, again, Twitter, uh, clear down to adding for sale buttons or high definition images if you want people to view those high definition images, and even an appreciate button as well. Uh, so, again, uh, this predates um, good old Facebook, but again, appreciate people's work, give them uh, the opportunity to appreciate yours, go to the publish tab, and then just upload your live site. It's that easy. There's so much more you can you can do. I just kind of scraped the surface, but it's nice being able to quickly publish a site and get that URL and be able to send that out right away. Again, all my projects, I can view them, selecting whichever one I want, and you can see it right here, even with some social media tie-ins. So I encourage you to check out uh, the Behance Pro site on Behance.net, and I encourage you to just get involved there, honestly, and uh, you know, I'd love to see some of your work, your Pro site, out there soon, especially if you're a Creative Cloud member, as you do get it as part of your membership.